Good morning, Newman Smith, and happy Monday. I'm Dr. Jimenez, the proud principal of Newman Smith High School, where our mission is to graduate all scholars to be college, career, or military ready without remediation. Please join me for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. And now our pledge to the Texas flag. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee. Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. And now for our moment of silence. Well, like I said, happy Monday, everyone, and what a great homecoming weekend. And listen, if you were not grooving with us on Saturday night at the dance, well, then you really missed out. We had almost 500 scholars come, and I want you to know you were terrific. We had so much fun with you, and on the way out, you were saying, thank you for the dance. It's so great. So I want you to know that was a night of pride for me, Trojans, that our homecoming dance was such a success, and that's thanks to your wonderful behavior. Yes, I was so proud of all of you for just having fun, kicking back. Everybody was dancing. I've never seen a dance where everybody dances. I think that that is incredible. No wallflowers. Way to go, Trojan Nation. I'm super proud of you. Well, our word of the day is austere. From This is from the SAT word of the day. It is an adjective. It means, uh, it has a couple of different meanings. Extremely plain or stern and forbidding or relating to self-denial. There are, are three sample sentences because it can be defined in those three different ways. He lived in a small, austere cabin in the middle of the woods. That's for extremely plain. My boss had an austere, austere expression on her face. That's for stern and forbidding. And then finally, an austere lifestyle like that of, of a monk isn't for everybody, and that is related, relating to self-denial. And finally, our quote of the day also ties in with our very special guest. We have with us today Mel Jackson, offers, author of Blessings in Broken Places. And the quote of the day is actually from Mel, and you're about to get to meet her. And let me tell you, Trojans, she is amazing. The quote is, to lose is not a loss at all. It's the open door to new possibilities and the pathway to fulfillment. So let's welcome over Mel Jackson. She's the executive director of the Josh Howard Foundation and again, author of Blessings in Broken Places. Good morning, Trojans. Miss Jackson, we are so happy that you are here. Can you tell us a little bit about how you went from I'm a scholar somewhere at a high school to I am now an entrepreneur and an executive director. What is the story? Ah, listen, uh, a lot of hard work, um, my love and passion for the community and the kids. What I do with the foundation, I provide meals to underserved communities for kids every day. And so I absolutely love being able to go in because my latter years of high school were very challenging for me, but I was determined not to quit. And so I've given my life and my work to making sure that I can back children and high school students, elementary school students, in underserved communities, in urban communities, it really doesn't matter to me. I just want to make sure that they know they have a voice and they have someone that's going to back them and help them along the way. Wow. What, what advice would you give a scholar right now who might be struggling, you know, that doesn't know what's their next step in the future, or maybe just struggling with uh, some sadness or stress? Like, what advice would you give that scholar? Don't quit. Don't, Don't quit. quit. Keep moving. It doesn't matter how fast you go. It doesn't matter, you know, um, what you know, what you don't, just keep moving. Just wake up every day and decide to keep moving. Just keep walking. Just keep trying. Every effort, every bit of effort, every ounce of effort counts with what you do. And so as you chip away at it and you keep trying, if you don't quit, you'll end up where you want to be. If you focus on the try and not the place, then you'll get to the place. I love that. Focus on the try and not the place. So Trojans, I want to ask you, where are you going? Where are you going? Are you focused on the try and not the place? Where's your end destination? For some of you, it may be, I want to go to this university. For others, it may it may be, I talked with a scholar on Friday who wants to be a welder. Like, where is your where is your place? 
but don't focus on that. Focus on the try. Like, how do I daily get there? Well, Miss Jackson, you are an exemplar for our scholars. Thank you. What an amazing gift. And y'all, I can't tell you, I can't tell you, but she is related <laughs> to a scholar here, but I can't tell you who, you know, FERPA. All that good stuff. Can't do that. But she loves Trojan Nation. And Miss Jackson, I'm going to invite you to close out with me. So every day I tell our scholars that I love them. And sometimes because, you know, if no one's told you today they love you, well, I do. Yeah. You know, yeah. so I, we tell them, I love you. I think you're great. Remember, character counts. And then you and I will say together, make it a great day or not. The choice is yours. Got it. Kind of like the focus on the try. Got it. All right. So, uh, scholars, we love you. We think you're great. Remember, character counts. And make, make it, it a great, great day, day or not. not. The choice, choice is, is yours. yours.